Testament of Levi. The third son of Jacob and Leah. Chapter 5. He prophesies the coming of the Messiah. This was written 100 years before Christ. And whereas ye have heard concerning the seventy weeks, hear also concerning the priesthood. For in each jubilee there shall be a priesthood. And in the first jubilee, the first who is anointed to the priesthood shall be great, and shall speak to God as to a father. And his priesthood shall be perfect with the Lord, and in the day of his gladness shall he arise for the salvation of the world. In the second jubilee, he that is anointed shall be conceived in the sorrow of beloved ones, and his priesthood shall be honored and shall be glorified by all. And the third priest shall he taken hold of by sorrow. And the fourth shall be in pain, because unrighteousness shall gather itself against him exceedingly, and all Israel shall hate each one his neighbor. The fifth shall be taken hold of by darkness. Likewise also the sixth and the seventh. And in the seventh shall be such pollution as I cannot express before men, for they shall know it who do these things. Therefore shall they be taken captive and become a prey, and their land and their substance shall be destroyed. And in the fifth week they shall return to their desolate country, and shall renew the house of the Lord. And in the seventh week shall become priests, who are idolaters, adulterers, lovers of money, proud, lawless, lascivious, abusers of children and beasts. And after their punishment shall have come from the Lord, the priesthood shall fail. Then shall the Lord raise up a new priest. And to him all the words of the Lord shall be revealed, and he shall execute a righteous judgment upon the earth for a multitude of days. And his star shall arise in heaven as of a king. Lighting up the light of knowledge is the sun the day, and he shall be magnified in the world. He shall shine forth as the sun on the earth, and shall remove all darkness from under heaven, and there shall be peace in all the earth. The heavens shall exult in his days, and the earth shall be glad, and the clouds shall rejoice. And the knowledge of the Lord shall be poured forth upon the earth, as the water of the seas. And the angels of the glory of the presence of the Lord shall be glad in him. The heavens shall be opened and from the temple of glory shall come upon him sanctification, with the Father's voices from Abraham to Isaac. And the glory of the Most High shall be uttered over him, and the spirit of understanding and sanctification shall rest upon him in the water. For he shall give the majesty of the Lord to his sons in truth forevermore. And there shall none succeed him for all generations forever. And in his priesthood the Gentiles shall be multiplied in knowledge upon the earth and enlightened through the grace of the Lord. In his priesthood shall sin come to an end, and the lawless shall cease to do evil. And he shall open the gates of paradise, and shall remove the threatening sword against Adam. And he shall give to the saints to eat from the tree of life, and the spirit of holiness shall be on them. And Belier shall be bound by him, and he shall give power to his children to tread upon the evil spirits. And the Lord shall rejoice in his children, and be well pleased in his beloved ones forever. Then shall Abraham and Isaac and Jacob exult, and I will be glad, and all the saints shall clothe themselves with joy. And now, my children, ye have heard all. Choose, therefore, for yourselves either the light or the darkness, either the law of the Lord or the works of Belier. And his sons answered him, saying, Before the Lord we will walk according to his law. And their father said up to them, the Lord is witness, and his angels are witnesses, and ye are witnesses, and I am witness, concerning the word of your mouth. And his sons said up to him, We are witnesses. And thus Levi ceased commanding his sons, and he stretched out his feet on the bed, and was gathered to his fathers, after he had lived a hundred and thirty-seven years. And they laid him in a coffin, and afterwards they buried him in Hebron, with I Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob.